Good morning, church. It is good to be with you today. And today we are with the prophet Jeremiah again. And he prays a prayer that maybe we have felt in our hearts, but never quite been brave enough to vocalize, or maybe you've never felt this, and that's good. But he says to God, why has my pain become unending, my wound incurable, refusing to be healed? You truly have become like a mirage to me, water that is not reliable. And therefore, this is what the Lord says, if you return, I will take you back. I will stand in your presence if you speak noble words rather than worthless ones. You will be my spokesman. It is they who must return to you. You must not return to them. If we ever feel like God's not hearing us or that he's not present or that he's not there, think about the boldness that Jeremiah had to speak what was in his heart. Now, he gets reprimanded by God, and he gets told to repent, so we know that those thoughts aren't good thoughts because they're not true, and anything that we believe that's not true about God leads us into um, sin, so we don't want that, but God knows what's in our heart anyway, and so if we're just pretending that we're full of faith and confidence, when in reality we say, God, you're like a mirage to me. I thought you were there, but when I approached, you were absent. Then, then we're lying both to ourselves and to God. Better to confess. Better to confess and say, God, I've had these doubts. And to be like that man who Jesus healed his epileptic son and says, Lord, if you, if you can do something, please do it. Jesus says, if I can, everything is possible through those who believe. And the man says, I believe, help my unbelief. And that's really the prayer. And that's where Jeremiah gets to. He goes back and he says, I understand these truths. And, and he holds steady to God through the, the thick of it. And my goodness, Jeremiah goes through it. As we'll see, his life is tough. And we just need to be ready to say, Lord, I believe. Help my unbelief. I am the vine, and my father is the gardener. Every branch in me that does not produce fruit, he removes. And he prunes every branch that produces fruit so that it produces more fruit. For those of us who do believe and who are living our lives according to the word and heart are generating good fruit for the Lord, we get this reminder from Jesus today that even those of us that are doing well and doing the work get pruning Hebrews calls it discipline. The Lord disciplines those that he loves. Um, continuing to remove those things from our lives that hinder us. The fancy word we use is sanctification, becoming more like our God all of the time. So even when we're doing well, it's right for us to anticipate that the Lord would take those good opportunities to continue to remove anything that gets in the way of our total reliance on him day in and day out. So let's continue to demonstrate our love for God by walking in faith and in belief, because that's the work, according to Jesus, to believe. Oh Lord, help our unbelief. Amen.